Hey guys, Lord Queenie Pants here for my second part of Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. Previously on part one, we brought Joker into custody, which unfortunately didn't seem to go too well seeing as he and his Black Gate thugs are now running the asylum. Today we're here with concerned guard Eddie Burlow to see what he has to say on the situation. Eddie? What happened? Joker happened. You're lucky to be alive. He must have gone this way. Door's jammed. I'll try and get it open. We need help and pacification. I repeat, we need backup and pacification. Can anyone hear this? Can you hear me? I'm with Batman. Hello? Where are they? Back down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Well, since you're offering, I'm not opposed to teamwork. I mean, I am a team player. Can you hear me? If you can, help's on the way. And you're not coming with me, I take it. It's cool. I often don't think before I talk. I should, though. Oracle, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? Joker's escaped custody. He's running free and- Okay, anybody else notice those rats running around on the floor? They drive me nuts. One, because this is supposed to be a hospital. Even though it's for crazy people, it's still a hospital, and I really think it should be cleaner and should not have rats running around. And two, I keep thinking they're the little, you know, denture teeth thingies that you have to hit, and they drive me up the wall because I want to batarang them, and I can't. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Saz is totally lost. Though maybe I could send an invoice in if I just, you know, killed all the rats and just kind of left them and tallied them up and went, you know, one, I saved y'all from all these crazy psychos, and two, I did some rat extermination hardcore, so I demand compensation. I don't think that's a bad idea, personally. Zaz has got my buddy. He's gonna fry him. Do something, please. Keep him occupied. I need to get behind him. All right, by occupied, I mean like the hokey pokey, go down there and sing to him maybe, um, anything really, maybe something for my amusement though. All right, just stand there, That that's totally cool, I mean, you know, they're pretty equivalent to, you know, keeping him occupied. Zaz is down, but not for long. Got to get close. As I say, mid-jump, not for long. I, it's okay, I took care of it. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Oh, hiya, B-Man. Harley Quinn here. Hey, Harley, how's it going? Yeah, do you have one in my size? I don't know if it'll fit over the suit too well and the armor, but I think it would look super hot on me. Which would probably improve a lot around here. Give it a woman's touch. I don't think there'd be quite as many rats. A fresh coat of paint. Maybe some dusting. It looks kind of dirty in here and grimy. I mean, just look behind me. It's, it's disgusting. Ta-ta! Okay, just break the camera. I mean, it's not like you struggled in the beginning to turn it on or anything. I don't mean, these guys harass me all night on these stinking cameras. And then she just breaks it. Like, how many camera stations do they have around this place? I mean, all they have is cameras in here. But still, I don't think she should break them. Them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. Yeah, because I'll probably post it on Facebook, so... <laughs> And Twitter, I'll tweet that. I know him. Try the radio. Control should be able to shut down the gate. Harley thinks she has me trapped in this chamber. She never was very bright. Okay, that kind of upsets me because Harley was a doctor. Okay? So to make it through medical school, you have to be at least a little bit intelligent. And I mean she has great, you know, taste in people because She's with the Joker. Mr. J is just, you know, amazing. He's one of my favorite people. Great character judge, I think. And she doesn't like Batman, which 
I don't know, sometimes he gets on my nerves, even though he is my favorite superhero. Batman, but I'm you into the guard radio feed. Steve, more Blackgate prisoners. By the boiler. Who's that behind them? Oh my god, it's Joker. He's free! How'd he break out? Sorry, feed's down. Comms are up and down like crazy. It's not good. I'll keep trying. Every time I bust that gate open, I always kind of secretly hope that I'm going to hit that guy. I mean, I'd feel really bad probably if I hit him, but I think that would be probably hilarious. Alright, what's the sitch? Don't mind me as I quote Kim Possible over here. Joker toxin. Listen, the room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there? All right, let me in there. Come on, let's go. Even though I really don't want to go risk my life in Joker toxin, but you know it's a dirty job. Maybe if I'm lucky, you know, Micro will come along with the camera crew, and we can do Dirty Jobs Batman edition as I, you know, exterminate bugs, go into all this dirty toxin polluted air. Uh, you know, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other things tonight. Um, you know. You're gonna be fine. Stay here. Yeah. You crawl through that little hole right up in there. You know? Through the vent shaft. Batman's here. Just hold on a little longer, Steve. I can't. You got this, Steve. Come on. I'm I like how all the guards here are kinda like, you know, not super Batman. chunky or anything. Like I am <laughs> A huge fan of those lockup prison documentary shows, and pretty much all of the guards on there, you know, seem to be kind of old and not in shape at all. So, oh, I didn't mean to save you. Okay, I'll just knock you out. else going on in here yeah I'm not trying to 100% it for this because there's just so much going on that I just feel like 100% for this just might take up a little bit too much time especially because I'm not an editing genius anywhere near yet so I don't think any of you want to watch me just running around here aimlessly trying to find everything Wow, look at that backflip. That was pretty fantastic. Alright, let's go. I love his little spray paint everything around here. There we go. That was pretty fantastic. I like how he had time enough to spray paint everything. I mean, it seriously must have taken me a while if he had the time to do all that. Yeah, that, that was kind of a given. You knew you weren't going to hit him. Just not yet. <laughs> this guy cracks me up every time he comes out of there. Because, like, you're expecting so much more. And he's, like, half gimpy. I just can't handle this guy. It's kind of like me imagining Warren Sharp being, like, a funny rabbit with a monocle. It just doesn't work. All right, just just throw a guard at me or two. That's it's cool. I mean, all right, out of the way. I got this. Let's go. Come on. Woo! All right, out of the way before he kills me. <laughs> yeah, let's put sub. Uh huh. Na 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 boo boo. Okay, yeah, I got a little too cocky there. Oh, you're not done yet. Oh, keep throwing those bodies. Oh, I was way over here and just. All 
All right. Run into the thing. Yes. Okay. Or not. One, two, three, four. Suck it. All right. Are you just going to keep throwing that body at me? Because... Are you okay? Are you are you are you okay? Somebody call a doctor. I mean, I don't really. Okay, those eyes are really creepy. That was unexpected, wasn't it? Oh, well, really, it was unexpected. Like he was like half mutant ninja turtle thing, and then like half like starving child from Africa. Africa, like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just bonk him in the head with a batarang or like 17, you know? Can't duck them all while you're hanging out on that like elevator safe shaft thing. I don't really know what that is. See, if I was Batman, I wouldn't follow his number one morality rule. So I probably wouldn't be predictable, but you know, I don't get to play Batman how I want to play Batman, which kind of sucks. Get in here before more of them come. All right, that's cool, whatever. No one really cares. I'm ready to take down because that's one of my favorite things. Let me in, little pig, little pig, before I huff and puff and blow your electric shock bars down. All right, this guard apparently doesn't get a cool name. Jerry in here. Powered up the gate. All right, Jerry's dead. He gets a name, but this guy doesn't. What's on the other side? Apparently, they don't love you. Call it extreme isolation. Only way in is via the transport system. Open it. Not a problem. I'll just need to call another cell. Get on it then. Okay. Let's go. Something's wrong here. The main security loop is locked. <laughs> really? Joker. Yeah, yeah, we are. There's no escape, Joker. Silly bat! I don't want to escape. I'm having way too much fun. I even have you here to give a smile on my face. Not for long. Really? We'll see. Ta-ta! Oh, I forgot to say. Just in case you were planning on following me, I've arranged a little insurance. Gordon is on his way to Harley as we speak. Officer Bowles. <laughs> Yeah, like, that guy wasn't shady at all. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, there he is with his drinking again. Like, he's... If you watch him, he's, like, a complete alcoholic. It amazes me. How <laughs> nobody cares. The transport system is down. Best I can do is open the door you came in. Sorry. I should go back to the holding cell. It's, it's not acceptable. But apparently I have to go save Jim Gordon. So... All right, and away we go. Instead of following the yellow brick road, we're going to go backwards down the green neon spray paint corridor of doom. Getting him back. Okay, I know, but... Oracle, I'm getting him back. Joker will not win. I won't let him. I'm starting where he was taken. A guard named Frank Bowles attacked him. If I find Frank, I'll find your father. Bruce, hurry, please. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, dear. I mean, this is called Batman Arkham Asylum. In case you didn't get to look at the front of the box, I am the protagonist, meaning I'm going to win. Um, kind of sucks. I like those really weird out there kind of games and movies where, you know, the bad guy actually wins every once in a while. Oh, last time I snuck on him, on him really good, but, you know, I was kind of running and excited there, I guess. That was impressive in my opinion. Maybe not to anybody else, but I know I couldn't do that in real life. Oracle, I'm at the holding cells. I'm setting up a crime scene. So what's the plan? Isolate something in that room unique to both? Exactly. Yep, it's Batman CSI. Let's go. See if there's anything good. Alright. Flask, eh? I can follow traces of alcohol from Frank's bourbon in the atmosphere. 
Oracle, I've got a trail. That's great. You follow it. I'm grabbing every reference to Arkham I can find. Maybe useful later. All right, well, thank you so much, guys, for joining me in part two of my Let's Play. Make sure you stop by next time when we follow the magical bourbon trail to find Commissioner Gordon. This has been Lord Queenie Pants. I'll catch you guys later.